Hey everyone, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Shadow Frame Reviews. Where'd you get coffee? I got this at a little place called the Limbo Cafe. Sounds scary. It is. From Nostalgic Nightmare Productions, we're gonna watch a short film called The Limbo Cafe. Written and directed by Jason Burke. I wanna go to the Limbo Cafe. Uh, maybe wait until after you've seen the film and then decide if you still want to visit this cafe. Okay, dim the lights and roll the film. Oh, it's someone's birthday. No, that's just Jason Burke's production logo. Well, actually, you'll be turning one soon, Slate. Me and Vince are turning one? No, just you, Slate. You'll be turning one. Vince is a little older than you. He has you beat by a handful of years. Well, come on in, darling. You look like you've been through quite a night. It's been a long night. Probably look awful. Nonsense, child. You're the vision of beauty. <laughs> Even if you are soaked from all that rain. Here, let me get you a towel to dry off, Miss Atria. What's with the photo op? She didn't smile for the camera. My name's Lacey. Lacey Maloney. Sorry about the camera. It's a custom here in this cafe to take a picture of all our new patrons. You from around here? <laughs> That's okay, I guess. I'm from outside of Pleasance. Oh, that's all the way across town. She went from Pleasance to, to Limbo. Just looking for something new. A, a little Not really a lot of business at this cafe. You'd be surprised. It's just weird to think you ended up here of all places. Yeah, I just noticed we're in here by ourselves. Is it always this slow at night? Honey, it's this slow here all the time. This place is practically a grave now. This barista must yeah, not be any good. There's not one tip in the dark. Yeah, I must not see it through all the rain. It's a quaint little place. Can I please have a cup of coffee? I have a long drive ahead of me, and I can certainly use the energy. Come with that. Vince, this is your kind of joint, since you're a drama queen. Oh, shut up. I got a couple boxes to put away in the back, and when I'm done, you can just spill your goods. I like the music. Derek Goob did the score for this. He supplied the music for a handful of films of mine as well. It's always nice hearing his tunes. Helps bring the spookiness to life. I just peed myself. I hope that's just a figure of speech. And I think she did the same. Well, darling. What's wrong? Are you alright? Yeah. I just thought I saw someone in the mirror. 
darling, you must be stressing out so bad you gave yourself a start. There ain't nobody else in here. Even if someone did come in, we'd hear him with that bell on the door. Yeah. Sorry. It's just the man that... that I thought I saw. He looked... He looked like my husband. Well, where is your husband? Maybe talking about this will happen. Did y'all have a fight or something? Something like that. I don't know, I... Let's change the subject. I don't want to get any emotional tonight. Who are these people on the photo? Is that the menu items? Uh, no. Um, maybe if Hannibal Lecter was working there, that would be the menu items. But in this limbo cafe, no. Too many guests come through here, and when we get some interesting ones, we like to immortalize. Maybe someday you'll end up on that wall. The wall of shame. Can I possibly get some food? My goodness, where are my manners? I should have known you'd be hungry. Here, let me fix you up a sandwich to go for coffee. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. I Silly. It's free of charge for first time customers. Completely on the house. Really? Wow! Free of charge! No problem, I'd order Nothing. chicken fingers with fries, a corn dog, a ribbon sandwich, a side of coleslaw, chicken noodle soup. Slate, we get it. You have an appetite. You don't have to name the whole menu. Yeah, but I want to eat the whole menu. Don't go to the mirror again. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the scariest of them all? This is so weird, but it's actually okay. magic mirror on the wall. We all remember it as mirror, mirror on the wall. But look it up. It's magic mirror on the wall. Get the hell out of here. You're making that up. Nope, that's legit. It's magic mirror on the wall. Not mirror, mirror. It's one of those uh, Mandela effect things we all remember it differently. It's weird. Lacey, I think you have a customer. You'll rot! Mark! You'll rot for this! It can't be! You're dead! You'll never rest. Your soul will never rest again! Yeah, a little high strung, that Mark. Wait a minute. It's Friday the 13th. That's why all of this is happening. There was a man outside. No, it's not. And it's not Jason Voorhees out there. Did this isn't Cafe it? Crystal Lake. Oh, look. Are you sure you're all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I, I can prove it to you. He left his handprint right on the door. It was... It was right there. I swear it was right there! Sweetie, you're scaring the dandelions out of me. Now, why don't you come on over and take your mind off of it and have a seat? I, I've got your sandwich. This movie's scaring the dandelions out of me. Now, I think you'll feel a whole lot better once you tell me what on 
earth is going on? Those pillows are artsy fartsy. Guess it couldn't hurt. The man that I saw earlier was my husband. He never did tell me where he is. He's he's dead. Her husband is the dead he man? As in the Undertaker? Vince, why don't you just relax, rest in peace, and enjoy the rest of the movie. All our patrons. I got secrets kept from every single continent. And besides, I knew you were special from the moment you wandered in here. My husband Mark and I were married for three years. It wasn't always bad. We loved each other at times. But then things changed. Mark lost his job. Everything got really, really bad. He used to sit on the couch and just sulk. Then he turned to drinking. He used to hit the bottle. And then he started hitting me. He beat me within an inch of my life. Poor thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was sorry too. I always played the victim. Blamed it on myself. But then I was tired of it. I was tired of always being the victim. I wanted to defend myself for once. Next time he came at me, I wanted to be ready. Why didn't you just leave? Or call the police? I was too scared. He said he'd come for me, and he'd find me, and he'd kill me. I couldn't let that happen. So, tonight, he came at me. I grabbed something off the mantle, and I whacked him over the head with it. And then I pulled a knife from my pocket. And I slit his throat. He will never come at me again. If he comes in there, there's some hot coffee in his face. When's he gonna order food? Everything is on the house. Get your grub on. What's going on with the lights in here? We've got some electrical repairs to make. Don't let it scare you. It's like these lights have a mind of their own. No child. I'm really glad you got away from that evil man, but I really gotta report this to the police. Oh, no, 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 no. Self-defense or not, they're not going to understand. I'm sorry, I got no choice but to call. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. This man is finally out of my life. I don't want to cause any problems. to do what's right. I guess everyone comes face to face with justice in the end. I promise I'll keep the cops out of it. I must let the windows open downstairs again. There must be a gust of wind coming in from that storm outside. Yeah. I'll go close the windows and you eat your sandwich. Yeah, you eat your sandwich. Late, he's a ghost. Helen, I'm so sorry to startle you. What's going on there? What the hell is this place? And why do you have a knife? This? I was just cutting up some chicken for a famous chicken noodle soup. Everyone around here swears by it. 
Yeah, eat something. It's free. We're not safe here. My husband is haunting this place. Darling, your husband's dead. You said so yourself. We're trapped in here. The door won't open. Is there another way out? Case no of use. emergency, break well, glass. The truth. What are you talking about, you psycho? Let me out of here! Your fate is sealed, just like all the others. Did Mark put you up to this? Do you know Mark? Did he make you do this? Your lies can't help you now. Your husband never beat you. He was a good man. That was just a story. in cold blood. Your husband's not haunting you to stalk you. He's haunting you. Okay. Okay, fine. I murdered him. And it wasn't self-defense. But you don't understand. He promised me a family. I wanted children. That's all I wanted was kids of my own. One night he decided that he didn't want children. That's all I've ever wanted was a beautiful family. And he ruined everything for me. All I wanted was to be a better mother than my mom had ever been to me. And he was going to take that away from me. I had nothing. I was nothing. And only a family. Only a family could have fixed that for me. But you wouldn't understand. You don't get it. He's to blame. He had. He had to pay. There he is. You murdered an innocent man and you thought you could just drive away? You crazy bitch! Let me out of here, or I'll slice you open like I did, Mark! <laughs> to quote Jim Ross, business is about to pick up. Join me! No, don't join him. Especially on an empty stump. Ooh. That's gonna leave a mark. See what I did there? Another night at the Limbo Cafe. May your souls never rest in peace. She's stuck there forever now. Cool, cool, cool. I changed my mind. I don't want to go to the Limbo Cafe. <laughs> That's a good idea, Slate. You might want to stay away from that place. Plus, I hear the coffee's bad.
highlights. I like the tone in this one. Very uh, Twilight Zone-ish. Good acting and good dialogue coming out of these characters' mouths. Cinematography is pretty. The little music theme in this is really good and the music is used sparingly, but when it is used, it's effective. All right, that was good. So after now seeing the film, would you guys still like to visit that cafe? I'll pass. Didn't think so. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to see more from Jason Burke, check out his channel in the link below. He has all kinds of good stuff on his channel. He does movie reviews, he does football stuff, he does scenes from movies with other actors in the Pittsburgh community. So check out Burke's channel, a lot to see and choose from. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. We will see you next time on Shadow Frame Reviews.